Hi everyone, uh, in this week's dispatch video we're going to be discussing something which has been lurking in the background in employment law for uh, some time now and that's the potential reintroduction of fees into the employment tribunal system. Um, last week, or a couple of weeks ago depending on when you're watching, um, the Ministry of Justice launched a consultation on reintroduction of um, fees. You might remember uh, there was a regime in place in, from July 2013 onwards that was spectacularly um, struck down by the Supreme Court because of its disproportionate impact on access to justice. Um, so the government's had to come up with a different way of trying to introduce fees into the system and, and potentially pay for some of the costs uh, of, that, um, of that system, which uh, many will argue is grounding to a halt and has been for some time, particularly since uh, since COVID. Um, so fees did were introduced back in 2013. At that time, claimants had to pay an issue fee depending on the type of their claim. Uh, that was either 160 or 250 pounds. If the claim was to progress to a hearing, a further fee of 230 or 950 pounds uh, was payable in those circumstances. Um, and it was the more complex ones, such as discrimination, which attracted the higher fee. That meant that claimants were sometimes paying £1,200 in fees, in many circumstances having lost the job, and in many circumstances with no certainty that they were going to win the claim and get those fees back. Um, so many of those claimants may be out of work, cannot afford to pay those fees. There was no real correlation between the amount of money being sought and, and the fee that was payable, which is um, often reflected in the civil courts. Um, and in that case, lower value claimants were simply deterred from, from bringing those claims. Uh, it was also felt the fees could have a disproportionate impact on women and ethnic minority groups who were more likely to have claims uh, and more likely to have claims which attracted higher fees, such as race and sex discrimination claims. Um, and tribunal cases going through the system did drop by around 70% during that time, which just highlighted the deterrent effect that the, the fees had um, on those numbers. The consultation that's been introduced now proposes uh, what the government calls a modest uh, £55 issue fee for all employment tribunal claims, uh, except for those where somebody's claiming against uh, an insolvent employer, so claims from the National Insurance Fund. Um, that £55 is regardless of the number of complaints uh, or the number of claimants on the claim form. No separate hearing fee is proposed, so the £55 issue fee would cover the uh, entirety of the claim. Uh, and then for any decision being uh, appealed at Employment Appeals Tribunal stage, a further £55 would be payable. Uh, there would be the power for a tribunal to order the employer to, to repay that fee, to reimburse the employee. Um, in the event of a successful claim. So the consultation makes it clear that the Ministry of Justice's view is that that fee is generally affordable. There will be a civil court fee remission scheme um, which uh, is extended to the Employment uh, Tribunal and Appeals Tribunal um, and that would allow those who cannot afford the fees and, and meet some sort of means testing threshold uh, to have those fees reimbursed. Um, the government's view is that the previous regime did not strike the right balance between uh, funding the system and allowing access to justice. It, it, it had rather the opposite effect on, on access to justice, unfortunately. Um, but it is expected that this new regime would generate um, between £1.3 million and £1.7 million pounds a year, um, which would be invested in ACAS dispute resolution. Uh, and it may... Uh, assist parties in, in resolving more complaints and avoiding clogging up that tribunal system. Uh, so that consultation runs until the 25th of March and the government will then make a decision uh, about whether to introduce those, um, those fees into the system. Um, potentially that could deter spurious and, and meritless claims. At the moment there is no real disincentive and a, a very difficult and restrictive costs regime which means a claimant can generally present um, a claim without fear that they're going to be penalised for doing so. Um, many commentators have stressed that perhaps the, the better way um, to uh, weed out those those uh, meritless claims is to invest more in, in a sift stage, so judges looking at claims and deciding whether or not they should um, progress. I also wonder whether there is one eye on a potential incoming Labour government who have suggested uh, increasing and strengthening employees' rights, such as bringing in day one unfair dismissal rights, which would no doubt uh, increase the number of claims going through the tribunal system. So is the fee regime in place 
to potentially look at uh, protecting the tribunal system and trying to keep those numbers down. We'll update further when we have a decision on the consultation. In the meantime, if you do need any assistance uh, on this issue or anything employment law generally, please do get in touch. Visit the website chadwithlawrence.co.uk or email employmenthub at chadlaw.co.uk. Thank you.